What is your perspective as a female performer in the Yiddish world, maybe even versus other genres? Well, um, now we get to the controversial part of the interview. Uh, you know, obviously, as a performer of Jewish music, I've dealt with the whole Kol Isha issue, and where it's uh, where it's sincere, I respect it. Uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, like part of the a la carte menu and people will say, well, I'm going to be observant about this issue, but, you know, not so much about this issue. And, you know, uh, it, it is something that just impacts women um, like a lot of aspects of culture and a lot of conservative religions do. So, you know, in the broader sense, it's no worse than a lot of things we women have to deal with. Um, I have had experiences with Coley Shaw, for example, uh, doing a concert at the Brooklyn Public Library, and there were Hasidim there. So I made a point of walking to the microphone very deliberately and saying, all right, now I'm about to sing this song and here's what it's about to give them time to leave the room. And they didn't leave the room. In fact, they were like moshing during the concert. Um, uh, I had an experience with some very hip people in a more conservative circumstance where they they had like a little mini emergency baked in and then determined, well, if I was singing into the microphone, then that was legitimately distorting my voice enough to circumvent the worries about Kohli Shah. So, you know, it's all, okay, whatever. Um, I, in Jerusalem, I had an experience where a lot of uh, Haredi men and women came to a concert and I really didn't know how that was gonna work and I started, I figured, well, they brought me here to sing. I started singing and a couple of the Haredi musicians actually came on stage and took out instruments and played along with me. So I thought, okay, well, great. This is, I hope someone's taking a picture of me standing next to this guy in the, you know, silk capota with the payas, you know, singing alongside him because, you know, we're not gonna see this too much. And of course, coming back from that trip, I had the experience on the airline where the stewardess came to me and said, oh, this uh, rabbi is sitting next to you and he wants you to change seats with your husband. So it's a, it, it is never a settled matter. It is always going to be something that uh, you have to deal with in the moment. Last spring, uh, touring throughout France and a lot of these um, communities where uh, even in a, a liberal synagogue, you, they still observe things like Kohli Shah. So, you know, we did the concerts in the, um, in the community centers next to the synagogues. So it's something, you know, I, I certainly respect it because I respect people who have genuine faith. But sometimes it's uh, let's just say a little less sincere than at other times.